met the uh, Greek embassy in Brussels, Belgium, and I wanted to give you a short tour of an exhibition of photographs that I took in the Greek islands in the 1950s, 60s, 70s. This is a, a photograph of a tile maker in Patmos, uh, Mr. Konstantas. And here we have a very typical Greek uh, bus scene in that era with the driver's children sitting on the engine and the driver uh, looking not at the road but at the uh, children to whom he's speaking. This uh, photograph of Anne and George McCabe on the old path from Faya uh, to Livadi was uh, taken in an era before uh, the road went into that part of uh, the island. <clears throat> Here we have some portraits. A boy on the left with a scooter from Mykonos, a gentleman from uh, Paros with his donkey uh, refueling at a water trough. A young lady in the Cyclades uh, selling fruit and two young men uh, from the island of Syros uh, working in a grocery store. <clears throat> this photograph is of uh, Mykonos. It uh, shows the Venetia section in 1957 with a French couple photographing uh, under the windmill. This shot is of Spezza Pula, uh, looking toward Spezza in 1957 before uh, Stavros Niarchos purchased the island of Spezza Pula. Here we have on uh, the island of uh, <coughs> Poros, the uh, peponi trade when every uh, single melon was unloaded by hand and thrown to the shore. This also is uh, Poros, uh, looking out uh, from the main port town. This is another spot along the path uh, from Vaya to Yaranos on Patmos. And this is a scene in Mykonos fishermen uh, drying their nets. This is at uh, the port of uh, Scala, hauling a uh, kaiki. And this photograph, uh, which is the only one not in the islands in the show, is of a monk in Meteora having his lunch. This is Eos on a very, very windy day with a lady uh, doing her laundry in her backyard. And this is Naxos uh, unloading a ship before there were dock facilities on the island. Everything had to be put in a tender. Here on uh, Patmos is the scene from Livadityaranos, looking toward St. George's Island, top left, and toward uh, Hora, off in the distance on the mountaintop. This again is the Venetia section of uh, Mykonos on laundry day. Santorini, 1957, on a windy day <coughs> with the uh, wind uh, blowing the pumice dust. And also in Santorini at the house of uh, Marcos and Petros Novikos. Patmos gathering horta and Patmos plowing. This is a shepherd 
in, in Patmos with his dog looking over uh, the monastery at Apollo, and Mykonos shopkeepers in 1957. This is a view from a home of a friend in uh, Vaya, looking uh, toward the north, toward Yaranos. And here, Independence Day in Hora in Patmos. This is Amorgos on a trip in the early 1960s. And here at Yaranos, uh, loading a small boat, the monastery of St. John in the very distant background on the hilltop. <coughs> this photograph is at uh, Yaranos, at the Church of the Virgin, on the Virgin's name day. August 15th, and here a celebration at Livavi to Calergeron, also on Patmos at the northern end of the island. This is a street scene in Patmos, and two young women in Casos having the giggles. This is Patmos in the springtime with the spring flowers merging into Scala. The Monastery of St. John. A lady in Skiros in 1957 and a lady in Patmos in the early 1980s. This is another scene along the pathway from Vaya to Yaranos, just as it enters the bay of Livadi to Yaranos. This is a scene of the famous Twin Bays, now jeopardized by a development program. In Patmos, threshing the wheat at an Arloni, and Patmos on the beach, the shepherd, and the captain of the boat that's in the distance, the island of St. George on the left, and Hora and the monastery in the distance on the hilltop. This is a scene from Casos, a widow in her home with her memories. And here in Mykonos, before running water, getting water at the well. Thank you for watching.